BOMAC Talk, we're still talking about it. Urbane Tectonics LLC sponsors BOMAC Talk, providing client education through our books, classes, and podcasts. This is all brought to market based on our commitment to build a database of media that educates clients, owners, managers, and administrators on efficient and effective management systems and tools. Client interest made it apparent that future clients, owners, managers, and administrators could benefit from having a support group, open discussion, and resources dedicated to pre-planning and implementing quality management solutions. So Urbane Tectonics LLC has been on the move this past decade, and with those moves into new regions, cities, and or states, there is market research that has to be done to position our service offering in the competitive landscape of the said area. So there are several ways we have approached getting the market research data, qualitatively and quantitatively. There are three community hubs of entrepreneurs that have become dominant in the data collection we need for our service offering. The first are business events at public libraries, co-working offices, and coffee shops. These have been great at getting a grassroots introduction to the local business community and building a rapport with the dominant business owner sector. According to business statistics, more than 70% of small business owners are non-employers with less than 10 employees. The second are business events at the regional chamber, trade organizations, and industry-specific conferences. These have been instrumental in collecting pain points and industry issues being presently discussed and comparing solutions that have become common practice. The third is fairly new to us. They are business events associated or sponsored by a regional municipality and or university. These have been business training, incubators, accelerators, and pitch platforms. As we conduct our tour of innovation hubs in the third category, each presents a different barrier to entry. These barriers, in some cases, could be challenged. Uh, as to whether or not a good opportunity was being turned away from viable support. There were inconsistencies across each in candidate processing. Uh, key resources for building a strong business infrastructure were lacking in availability. Be mindful to be clear as to what you need from your innovation hub to set predefined boundaries and to get non-disclosure agreements. Don't get caught in a power struggle loop where advisors try to become a controlling partner of your entity. The benefits of innovation hubs are direct and indirect. The innovation hubs impact indirectly economic development, community empowerment zones, smart city development, and poverty alleviation. Innovation hubs have a direct impact in efforts in business conservation. Business conservation is the moral philosophy focused on preservation and protection of businesses from extinction, maintaining and restoring owners, managers, and administrators, enhancing ecosystem services, preventing wasteful use of their resources, time, and promotes diversity throughout. We look to capture an opportunity to connect with university incubators, or accelerators, co-working office centers, and municipality programs to introduce licensing our business programs for their entrepreneurial hubs. These hubs present another opportunity to connect with business owners, managers, and administrators of color to offer referrals of support in legal, insurance, taxes, accounting, finance, and human capital. These experts, along with key business infrastructures, are required for business sustainability, longevity, and conservation. BOMAC Talk, we're still talking about it.